Well, what can I say? We've got some pretty shocking breaking news coming. We did not expect this to come, so stay tuned. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. Welcome to another episode of Cruise with Ben and David. My name's Ben. David's doing some work in the other room while I bring you this breaking news. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be bringing you lots of fantastic videos, cruise news updates, and more once we get back cruising. So on that shocking breaking news, which is just coming in now, we are bringing you the very latest news. Basically, the government of Canada has announced a one-year ban for pleasure craft and cruise vessels. This is being done to keep Canadians and transportation workers safe and healthy. That's the top priority of Transport Canada. The Minister of Transport announced today two brand new interim orders which will prohibit pleasure craft in Canadian Arctic waters and cruise vessels in all Canadian waters until at least February the 28th, 2022. Yes, you heard me right. February the 28th, 2022. That is over a year away. We are February the 4th now, so it's not even just a year, it's a year and a month. Absolutely crazy news and really shocking. We were not expecting this. This is going to be for any cruise vessel carrying 100 people or more, and they will be completely prohibited from operating in Canadian waters. Those who do not comply with these new rules could face up to a million dollar fines and being thrown into prison for a term of 18 months or a combination of both. It's really serious stuff. The Canadian government are taking this very, very seriously. We're just shocked. We were expecting some type of announcement, but for a whole year. It's been almost a year since any vessel has actually sailed in Canada. Well, cruise ships anyway. So this could mean almost two years, guys. A whole two years without any sailing in Alaska at all. Just think about all of those ports that rely on it and all of the people who rely on it for the business. It's really, really awful. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, so what? Canada's closed their waters. Why can't we still cruise there on a, on a US cruise? Well, there's a little thing in the USA called the Jones Act. This means that cruise ships have to visit another country, such as Canada, when doing round trips just from the USA. So foreign flagged cruise ships or cruise ships not built in the USA and some other rules, basically every cruise ship floating guys, they're all registered in the Bahamas, Panama, places in Europe and not in the USA. The only ship that was made in the USA and is registered here is the Norwegian Pride of America. So no vessel is going to be able to do ram trips. So they can't do trips, for example, from LA, San Diego or Seattle because they have to stop at another port in a different country, such as Vancouver in Canada. It's going to put a complete stop to that. It's really sad news and something that we weren't expecting. Yep, we are a little bit surprised. This news is just coming in now, so we're just trying to react to it. But again, two years since any Alaska cruise. This really puts any hope of sailing soon anywhere in the world in doubt again. It doesn't look like we're going to have a spring start. Cruise lines in Europe, Fred Olsen for example in the UK, have now cancelled all the way into July. Watch your space, more cruise lines will follow suit. In other news, MSC Magnifica has cancelled all of her cruises till at least the end of April. They're hoping to be able to sail in Greece again by Easter, but they've all been cancelled because of several issues with the government there. And in the USA, MSC have now cancelled all cruises until at least May, following the suit of all of the other big cruise lines like we said they would do. But in a little bit of good news, MSC took delivery of MSC Virtuosa. It was done during a private flag ceremony held in the Chanteliers de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire, France. Sorry about butchering the pronunciation there. It's a big shipyard in France that we've actually visited before. We saw her steel being cut two years ago I think it was crazy so now she's been delivered she's going to have some of the most advanced environmentally friendly technology on board including wastewater treatment systems a hybrid exhaust gas cleaning system shorter ship power connectivity and an underwater radiated noise management system this will minimize the sound impact on marine life so a big bravo to MSC for all of those things to make their ships more environmentally friendly we need more cruise lines to follow 
follow suit. She's also going to be the first cruise ship in the world to receive a bio-risk notation from the Bureau Vertiaz in recognition for its ability to mitigate and manage infectious disease risk for passengers. So she's the first brand new ship to have this, so a brand new recognition to say that she is super safe and fit with all of the latest technology to keep things like COVID at bay. She's the sister ship of the beautiful MSC Grandiosa. We travelled on her last year, so make sure you take a look at the ship tour. Uh, she's going to be doing Northern Europe itineraries, and planning this to start on May the 8th, 2021. Fingers crossed that this happens. We can see things being pushed back even more. Well, more news now on those cruise vaccines. Well, as expected, three more lines have came out and said that they will require them to sail with no exceptions. This is, first of all, the American Queen Steamboat Company and the Victory Cruise Lines, which operate from the USA. They're saying crew members and non-shipboard employees of the lines will also be required to receive the vaccination across all seven vessels in the two fleets. Well, first of all, it's really great to see that they're making that their crew and all of the employees that have anything to do with the ship need to be vaccinated as well. But how is this going to be done? At the moment, only older people are being vaccinated in the USA and in Europe. How are the younger people who work for the cruise line going to be vaccinated? Because private vaccination is not an option at the moment, so you can't just pay to get the vaccination. You have to wait your turn. Does this mean that they're not actually planning to sail for months? At the moment, they're saying the July the 1st, but we really can't see this happening. Pornant Cruises, which offer smaller boutique cruises, have also announced the same thing, that vaccinations will be needed. Well, guys, just a quick update there. We really hope you enjoyed the episode. As we said, we wanted to bring you that breaking news about Canada. It really is shocking. Again, let us know what you think about this in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. I also just have to say a big thank you to all of our patrons as well. You really help keep our channel running. We bring you loads of extra videos, behind the scenes footage, and little extra stuff you don't see on this channel. The captain of the week is Paul. So ahoy there, Paul. That's it till next time. Happy cruising. Happy cruising.